Talking Luther College men's tennis with head coach Adam Strand. Coach, last week you ended up having a 3-0 week. Obviously, from a result perspective, you're happy with that. What were the positives you took away on how you played? Uh, I think the biggest positive, Darren, probably was the 3-0 result, to be honest. Um, we've, we've had a tough spring, and, and we've, we've gone through a difficult stretch and taken some losses, and so I, I think that was important for our guys to, to just win some tennis matches because, um, again, our schedule's been very challenging. Um, what I saw is, is good positive things. I think our doubles is really continuing to improve. Um, you know, I think we've got, you know, what our, what our teams are going to be heading into the AQ in a couple weeks, and um, our, our doubles is looking really sharp. I think some of our younger players have dramatically improved um, from the beginning of the year. Kyle Apple's playing some really good tennis at the number one spot for us. Uh, Trent Schneider at number two. Um, Anders Jensen a little bit lower in our lineup. Um, we're seeing some really good, good things out of those some young, younger guys, which is good for this spring, but also for for you know years to come hopefully. Um, so I think those are probably some of the biggest positives, and um, you know getting a couple wins convincingly over conference opponents is certainly an important thing for us right now, and also a, a convincing win over an Elmhurst squad seven two who we've had five four meets with the past three years. And uh, Trent Snyder, uh, athlete of the week, how has he developed throughout the year? Yeah, Trent had a really good week, 6-0 um, and for him, which was great to see. Uh, Trent's been playing number two singles for us, which is um, pretty tough stuff to do as a, as a first-year player, and um, he's handled kind of the ups and downs of that along the spring, but, but really has played some good tennis lately, picked up some real nice wins here recently. Um, I thought the Elmhurst win is, is maybe his best win so far, certainly one of them. Um, Tr Trent's a competitor, and, and he's, he's very coachable and, and willing to learn, and he's made some adjustments. Um, with his game, not just hitting every forehand as hard as he can. He's learning to work the point a little bit and um, mix up the pace of his ball and, and just starting to understand um, you know, what it takes to be successful um, playing college tennis and, and playing high in the lineup. So really impressed with him, proud of him for that, that accomplishment and excited to see what he can do here in the stretch run of our season. Road trip to Dubuque today. You take on both Dubuque and Loris. What's your approach to today? Uh, two more important conference matches, um, two more that if we want to keep moving up um, the standings and set ourselves up well for the AQ tournament, two matches that we need to perform well in and um, back to back and a midweek road trip and so got to make sure that we're focused. Um, you know Dubuque has a lot of younger players this year, very talented group. We saw them at our individual tournament in the fall and um, so that'll be an important match for us to come out right away to be ready for and, and then to make sure that we don't overlook Loris as well. So yeah, both important matches, um, especially being league matches for us. And we mentioned road trip, middle of the week. Home matches this weekend again. Home matches again this weekend, Darren. Yeah, we had some home matches last weekend with Warburg Elmhurst. Played very well. Our guys were excited to be home on their courts. Um, you know, for the first time this spring, I, th I thought that was a good day for us. And then hopefully we can do the same this next weekend. Again, we'll finish out um, with a couple more conference matches. We've got Simpson coming here Saturday morning, Central in the afternoon. Um, Central especially has, has played some real good tennis in the league. Um, just lost 8-1 to Coe here yesterday, but otherwise has beaten everybody else in the league. They beat Warburg for the first time in four years, 7-2. Um, their number one player won um, uh, against the number two player actually from Coe in their duel, so he's playing very well. So Kyle will have a very tough match at one, and um, and then Simpson always comes and competes hard with us too. So those will be two important matches for us to finish out our conference schedule, and um, then we'll have a very good Augustana team coming here on Sunday. Um, they've performed well this spring. They've They've got a senior, uh, one, and a couple first-year players that are very talented for them. So I think that'll be another, um, you know, five, four, six, three type meet. Um, you know, probably the perfect type of match for us going into our IQ the following weekend. All right. So hopefully uh, you can take an another step forward in a busy week here, Coach. We wish you best of luck. Thanks, Darren. Adam Strand talking Luther College men's tennis.